the fallout from the Russia uh, Jimmy Dore Aaron Mate forts the vote Glenn Greenwald Gate continues as uh, we find out that Kyle Kalinske has left TYT as an affiliate. Let's talk about it, y'all. What are you people? We're Americans. We are Americans indeed. My my name is uh, Vincent. And uh, we are discussing uh, a breaking announcement, a new announcement, a recent announcement, whatever type of announcement you want to call it. Um, Kyle Kalinske, uh, we have just been told, is um, uh, leaving the Young Turks. Now, here is uh, Mr. Mr. Uger speaking on uh, the breakup, apparently. Matthew H. Uh, asks, been watching you since 2014, just wondering whether you'll have people like Kyle or Vosh on uh, the Friday Power Panel. So, um, I, I honestly, I don't know enough about Vosh, but I'll look into him more. I know that he got involved in some of these. Vosh, I don't know uh, much about the homie. Um, he did make a pretty, you know, people get hyperbolic um, over here, um, and I'm going to try to avoid that, but... Um, it's funny that uh, Tasco just took the words right out of my mouth. Kyle should come out and condemn Vosh for his anti-Semitic comment about Mate's dad because Crystal and Kyle interviewed gave a platform to Vosh. I agree. I agree. And since since Kyle Kolinsky is such a high character guy, according to my brother... My brother Tasco, I'm sure he's going to check him on that comment. Uh, there is a back and forth on Twitter. Somebody tagged me in it because uh, uh, the homie uh, Jimmy Dore had uh, retweeted one of our videos. And so um, because of that, I've, I've been included in a lot of conversations. And sure enough, Mate makes some comment about somebody's tattoo. And then Vosh responds with, uh, yeah, it'll be like your dad's or something like, or your grandfather's or something. Somebody in in Mate's family had um, uh, died in 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 a concentration camp, something like that. it was is horrible, horrific, horrifically terrible um, thing to say, extremely classless and low, and um, so we'll we'll see we'll see how folks respond to Vosh and and you know. For the most part, I haven't really seen a lot of fallout for him with that. So remember, remember, Kyle wanted to give Jimmy an eye Jimmy for um, saying that uh, Anna Kasparian's dress was inappropriate. Remember, Kyle didn't want to give uh, Jimmy the jammy because he said uh, nice new skirt. He thought that that was funny. And according to Kyle, he defended that statement because he didn't think that that was sexual harassment. The sin that uh, Jimmy committed was by saying uh, it was inappropriate when he was reviewing it, even though, as Jimmy demonstrated earlier today, uh, the, the school that Anna was supposedly a professor for explicitly stated that skirts, mini skirts and micro skirts were illegal and that you would be sent home and that they were inappropriate to represent the school. So, so Kyle wanted to give, Kyle wanted to give Jimmy and I Jimmy over that. I mean, Vosh did this Four or five days ago, last week, I'm not sure, right? So uh, he had enough time. Uh, he hasn't yet commented on it. Um, but I'm sure it'll be very boisterous and very animated, and he'll explain why uh, he wants to give uh, um, Vosh and I Jimmy as well. Unbelievable. We continue. Controversies, but... Um, and. We have people on from the network and our guest hosts more often. Uh, Kyle uh, is no longer part of the network. And so uh, he says. That OK, there it is. So according to Jenk, which, again, um, we really have to wait for full and total and complete confirmation. But I think all of us could see this coming down um down the pike, eight million miles down the pike, right? We all we all saw this coming from a trillion miles away, right? Because we know how Jenk uh, and Anna and the rest of that crew over there deals with any sort of criticism, constructive or otherwise. And even though Mr. Kalinsky 
had a less than uh, masculine response in those last two videos, um, it was enough to get to 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 get the "you're dead to me" treatment from Jenk. You know, Jenk dropped some subliminals in his last video. Uh, when he made a comment about people losing their self-respect, I'm pretty certain he was uh, sneak dissing uh, uh, Kyle uh, because he interprets Kyle as being cowardly for citing or even admitting that it was inappropriate for Anna to weaponize Me Too and that it was inappropriate for Jenkin et al. to continue to raise funds um, past the $20 million mark. <laughs> from private citizens. We continue. He disagrees with us on some policy issues. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I've been watching you since... 20- Hold on, I gotta, I gotta hear that again. ...these controversies, but... Um, and we have people on from the network and our guest hosts more often. Uh, Kyle uh, is no longer part of the network. And so uh, he says that he disagrees with us on some policy issues. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so Kyle disagrees on policy issues. I'm assuming, again, that secular talk uh, is... Secular talk for the uninitiated. Look, if you know my channel, <laughs> I can bet my firstborn that you know who and what secular talk is, right? Uh, so, Kyle... Kyle, for some unspecified reason that uh, Brother Jake won't let us know, but I'm sure Kyle will tomorrow. And you know what? Maybe this is a is a uh, a fair kind of aspect on Jenk's part, trying to give Kyle the ability to speak for himself without poisoning the well. Uh, so at that point, you know, Jenk can't be happy about it. But I, I give him that it's a sign of respect, you know, to not poison the well. So kudos to Jen uh, Jenk for that. There's a lot of. You know, invective against Jenk. There's a lot of Jenk is a jerk, blah, 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 for obvious reasons. I mean, hey, he sent him off. He didn't poison the well. He didn't say, oh, he's an idiot. Uh, he said, hey, man, I wish him the best. You know, he doesn't look particularly happy about it. But, I mean, Kyle is a, a big dude in the in the space, right? So, you know, it's like... You know, if Tupac was was going to decide to leave Suge Knight, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's allowed not to be happy that, that Kyle Kalinske is leaving. But good on him for not, like, poisoning the well, right? Good on him for for wishing him well. I'm assuming that Kyle is going to, um, you know, give a official statement or shoot a video tomorrow. Um, so there's that. All right, we continue. Uh, and let's see if we can uh, placate the people he's trying to placate. My guess is it'll end in disaster. It has already started in disaster, and uh, and probably will head in that direction. So holy! You know, there's a bunch of talk about how Jimmy goes nuclear. Jimmy doesn't know anything about going nuclear. This, this is nuclear. What do I mean by that? The Young Turks have, and it's, honestly, it's the two people running the ship. It's ahead of the snake. Jenk and Anna, right? They uh, detonated this entire blast, really, when Anna went after Jimmy with the with the grifter comment during force to vote and then it obviously the major mushroom cloud was the aaron mate meltdown and the glenn, glenn greenwald meltdown and the jimmy Dore meltdown and then now what what's happening is after the initial blast now you got you know the nuclear fallout right which is you know that that river by the simpsons you know with the with the three-eyed fish and all that jazz that's where we are and, and, and now Kyle, what happened is Kyle uh, went fishing in the back of his pond and he saw one of those three-eyed fish and now he wants to get the hell out of Dodge because Kyle Kalinske, say what you want about him, dear listener, but he's not dumb. So there's that. Holy moly. 
Uh, anybody who's saying that this is uh, just drama and personal drama and all the rest of it and doesn't see um, the implications here, come on, guys. Don't you see the problem? The establishment is completely unified. What do I mean by you're like, what are you talking about? CNN and Fox News go to war all the time. No, no, no. They're listener. CNN and MSNBC, they told the line. They don't challenge uh, the 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 super narratives of the establishment uh, blue side, and Fox News doesn't challenge the establishment red side. They're completely unified in the voice and the messaging. They don't even try to hide it. Progressives have this, and everybody who wants to say that this is some personal thing, and that we need to get to back to politics, doesn't understand politics. <laughs> Um, in, in 2021, as with all, you know, we're studying fascism right now, um, the media and what people believe and people's thoughts and policy are directly connected to one another and the media functions to do that for the establishment and the progressives are decades away from being where they need to be. Love your neighbor. Take care of each other. Middle America. We are the media. Till next time, guys.